Okay, well, welcome to episode eight. We're reaching into the shoebox for roll number nine. But before we get to roll number nine, this footage, uh, which I found after finishing the last episode, probably should have been on that roll. This looks like late 53, judging from my age. And it's interesting to see some shots of the front there at Beecher's. I'm pretty good on the tricycle, considering I am holding something in my hand there too. Okay, so you can see mom does look a little heavy here. I think she's wanting me to come in for lunch, but I think she's pointing at my dad saying, Mario, turn that damn camera off. Peter, you get in here, it's time for lunch. <laughs> Mario, shut that camera off. And and now there's this footage, which is looks like late fall of 53. They're all dressed up. I'm in this cute little blue outfit. And here we are in a, looks like a posed shot. Getting ready to get into the car, I'm waving goodbye. I think we're gonna go to my grandmother's. We used to have dinners there on the weekends all the time, but this might have been for Thanksgiving. Here's the black car. The uh, That's the last we see of that, and my dad uh, putting me on my mom's lap in the car. No seatbelts in 1953. Okay, so there's the white roofs of the row of duplexes in Beechhurst, Long Island, Queens. And we moved to Bayside in 54. It's just two and a half miles. It's just under three miles to Bayside from Beechhurst. So there it is, there's 37th Avenue. Here's the house from the front. The house on the left and the house on the right were essentially the same design. There's our blue Dodge. Notice the, the house there, that's essentially the same as ours. Look at that huge thing on the left. And on the right, it looks like some kind of Fort Knox or something. Over the years, there's been major modifications made to both. Just like the little house. Uh, that's progress for you. Here's over the garage in the living room, looking back towards the street there. This is Dad's easy chair, and that's where the Christmas tree for this episode will be. And here's the official Christmas 54 box, the first box with the Bayside address. Still no zip codes yet. <laughs> At the tree where Dad's chair was. Here's my sister Paula's first appearance. And she's about a, a month and a half away from her first birthday. The Bozo record player. This I'm looking at now is a toy tool set for, for kids or for little boys. That record player was an acoustic record player. It took needles and it played at 78 only. And it was, it was plug-in, but no amplifier. It was just acoustic, like an old Victron. Here's the box from Structo. It says it's child conditioned. <laughs> it's a blue steam shovel right out of the box. They were like Taka toys, you know, trucks and construction stuff, mostly for boys. Once again, here's cute shots of Paula. Oh yeah, and here's buildings, another great building block type toy set. These little guys, they can, you can hook their legs and arms together to make interesting arrangements. Here's the tree, yeah. Later that morning, it's time for Paula's breakfast in the kitchen. There's, there's a shot at the end of the video 
showing this kitchen. Dad doesn't show much, you know, these, this camera had no zoom, it's just a fixed lens, so you tend to just, <laughs> Dad doesn't show a whole lot around the room. Barbara, pull the high chair out of the way a second, would you please? So here I am practicing on the Structo box. Yeah, it's obvious I was watching that TV show, Sawing for Teens, because I've learned to use the box instead of sawing on the arms of the couch. <laughs> yeah, Mom in that, her favorite robe. So that's the end of Christmas, 1954. So here's the standard issue kitchen. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, sung by Smiley Burnett. Okay, thanks again.